Hey guys, and welcome back to Need a Better Intro. And hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yo. Hey. How's it going? Um, okay, so get some popcorn and a beverage, because we are going to be here for a while. I... The hazards of a woman having a laptop and a credit card and access to the internet is Sephora. Okay. Oh my god, I bought so much crap. Okay, so I, um, this is basically going to be a beauty haul because I have Sephora and Colourpop Cosmetics because, because, because they're amazing and inexpensive as fudge. So, okay, I have this ColourPop bag here, and I haven't swatched anything yet. I got two cheek products and three lip products. So I'm going to start with the cheek products. This is the packaging that they come in. And let's unbox some stuff. Okay, so same basic white pots here. This, what is this? Okay, this is a, another highlight, because their highlights are amazing. Um, and this is in the shade Smoke and Whistles. Now, I will tell you, this is it right here. In the picture on ColourPop, it looks a little pinker. I'm not gonna lie. And it's very, This is the part that you have to grab. Okay. This um, beautiful pearl. Whoa. Whoa. That is. Whoa. That is some serious glow factor going on right here. Wow. Okay. That's a first impression. I haven't swatched these at all, I swear to God. Okay. That was some serious glow. So that, again, is the highlight in the shade Smokin' Whistles. Smokin'. I'm in an odd mood tonight, guys. Sorry. Okay. This is a blush in a Super Shock Cheek in the shade Between the Sheets. And this is a matte finish. Some of them are, what are they, pearlized, satin, matte, and something else um and this is the shade here and again if I'm honest it looked completely different on the picture on the website so this is a little dark for a gal as white as as me oh, okay maybe not so much maybe not Okay, so that's, it's kind of like a dusty rose kind of color, I suppose. Yeah, it looks, it looked a lot pinker on the website, if I'm being real here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's, I mean, for how dark it looks in the pan, it definitely comes off a little bit lighter on the skin. So we will see. It's definitely a beautiful color, it just might be a little bit dark for this time of the year considering it is spring. <laughs> I have to think about that for a second. All right. And then I got three lip. I think they're all the ultra matte lips. Yes, sorry, Bob. This is in the shade Beeper. And these are all matte. I have never tried liquid lipsticks before. <laughs> Did I just say that out loud? Yes, I've never tried liquid lipsticks before. I know that I'm like the only girl in the history of YouTube or beauty ever who's not tried liquid lipsticks yet, but if I'm gonna be real, I don't like anything drying on my lips. It drives me absolutely insane. It is probably one of the most infuriating feelings ever to me. I hate 
dryness on the mouth. I hate it. I'm constantly wearing chapstick. I'm such a chapstick freak, but I mean, I had to jump on the bandwagon and I've heard good things. I've heard good things, so I'm crying and my princess shade might be a little dark for me. <laughs> okay, so this is the shade Beeper. It's kind of like a a, like a plummy brown kind of color and then the next one I got here is in the shade Bumble which was actually a color that I saw in the lookbook and I thought was gorgeous this is it right here well this is the packaging okay guys I'm sorry I haven't shown you the packaging yet okay um so this is the shade Bumble like um, that's pretty friggin gorgeous if I'm gonna be honest okay so bumble it actually again looks a lot lighter on the interwebs than it does in the swatch here but we'll see we shall see it looks gorgeous on my hand and then the last shade I got was was Stingray, which looks very similar to Bumble. No, it doesn't, I lied. This one's a lot plumier, purple, purple-y. It kind of reminds me of Lumiere. Not on the hand, it doesn't, so that's a big fat lie. Okay, so this See, this is Bumble and this is Stingray and then just for comparison's sake let's do Beeper which is very brown. Very brown. <laughs> I've never worn a brown lipstick before. Okay so these are the three shades back to back. This is Bumble, Stingray, and Beeper. So as you can see like um, Stingray um, is a little bit plummier, whereas the uh, Beeper shade is going to be a little bit more brown. Like, normally, whenever I am wearing a lipstick, it looks a little bit more natural than uh, these colors here are a bit dark. Okay, so that is it for the ColourPop haul. And now we go on to Sephora. Sephora. Um, I got quite a bit from Sephora, but there was one thing in there that was very expensive. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you the skincare products. Or actually, I guess I'll show you the makeup products that I got first. Um, and then I'll show you the skincare products last, just to stay in the theme of makeup here. Okay, so the first thing, which I've already lost the box to, is this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in the shade Khaki. And it is this gorgeous greeny bronzy gold gray shade and it's gorgeous and I freaking love it and it cost $29 for an eyeshadow stick which is a bit absurd but this color is beautiful and I freaking love it and I'm very excited to try it and the consistency is amazing it's very well it goes on my hand very very like like very smoothly that's the word I'm looking for it goes on very smoothly and I'm very excited to try it and yeah 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 I will keep you updated and if I like the, this there's like a 5,000 other different shades so I probably will end up buying more okay and then the last three makeup products I got were two of them are blushes because I'm a blush addict these are new. These are the Becca um, Mineral Blushes, and I got mine. Look at the cute packaging. It's like the um, the highlights, just the minis. 
Um, in mini size. Look how cute it is. Okay. Um, and I got mine in the shade Flower Child. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It's like a peachy. Weird. Okay. Um, it is this gorgeous pink shade right here. Oh, that's going to be beautiful for the summertime. Oh my god. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited. So that is Becca's Flower Child. Okay, and then I got one more blush and this is actually a blush that I've been wanting to try for a while but I've never purchased it because it's so freaking tiny for the $30 that you spend on it um and I mean I mean this is pretty tiny too but you get a lot more product in this um this is the Laura Mercier second skin cheek color in the shade rose petal and this is literally like the the cutest pink shade I think I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. Uh, but okay, seriously, just look. Let me get this little plastic insert. Look how tiny this is. It's like the size of my eye. It's so freaking tiny for $30. Seems a little bit absurd, but it's like the perfect shade of pink, and I've been wanting to try it, and it's very buttery. Whoa, um, for quite a while now, and I finally dove in and purchased it and we shall see it's like the beautiful most like beautiful perfect kind of like just flush of pink color on your cheeks so it'll be perfect for spring and summer and all of those other months and then I got one last makeup product, which I'm very excited about and also very nervous about. Um, I have also, oh, I swear, I'm like the worst beauty person of all time. Um, along with the fact that I've never purchased any liquid lipsticks before, I've also never contoured properly before. Um, I attempt a little contouring with, you know, some bronzers and stuff like that, but I've never properly, like, purchased a contouring powder or stick or anything sculpting and contouring scares the crap out of me because some ladies out there can go a little harsh with it um and I like to look all as all natural as possible but I mean some women can literally do it to where you know it's a contour but it looks real like, it looks like your face is chiseled to perfection, and I want to try it, and so I got the, what is this called? Okay, the Marc Jacobs Light Filtering Contour Powder. Look at this massive packaging, first of all. Just... Ooh, there's information in there on how to contour, I suppose. So, because I'm a nitwit, I will probably read up on that. This is the packaging. Look how flippin' massive this thing is. It is huge. Caroline, huge. <laughs> Let me know if you got that. If you got that. Okay, so, guys, guys. Just look how much product comes in. Okay, if I um, look how much product comes in this thing. Whoa. Okay, so obviously I picked this uh, grouping of shades here, figuring that this would probably be a little bit more suited for my skin tone. Now, I'm not a thousand percent positive if this is going to be the right color because this looks to me like it's a, I mean, it's a matte brown, but it looks to me to be a little muddy side but that might be perfect and then this highlighting powder is more of a banana shade I don't know if this is going to work so if it's not I will probably exchange it for the correct color for my face but I'm going to try it I'm going to attempt contouring 
guys. This is a feat for me. I've never tried it before. I've always been terrified of it and I'm going to try it. And I figured what better way to do it than with this massive Marc Jacobs contouring palette. Yes, very excited for that. Okay, and then the last three products are skincare products. And I'm going to save the best for last because I'm so excited. Um, okay, so this was something new on the Sephora website. And it's a brand that I've never tried before, but I've heard really good things about. It's called Derma Doctor. And this is, I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this. It's Kakadu, K-A-K-A-D-U-C. And this is a massive bottle. Um, okay, this is six fluid ounces. I've already opened it. I'm being honest. Because um, I wanted to see what it smells like. So it's this giant glass bottle here. And it is a brightening daily cleanser with vitamin C, A, and... I don't know what that is. Um, A, H, A, apostrophe S. A, H, A. Um, okay, so this smells slightly of oranges, very slightly. Um, other than that, I'm not a huge fan of the smell, but it's pretty much brand new to Sephora, and when I got it, it only had like four reviews, but all of them were good, so I really want to try it. I like anything with some vitamin C in it. It gives you a very brightening glow to your face, and it's a pretty giant bottle, and I really can appreciate the fact that it has a pump really can appreciate that so very excited to try that i will let you know what i think and then the next thing i got is a serum which i've also heard very very good things about and i'm very excited to try and i freaking love this brand and this is the first aid beauty ultra repair hydrating serum and it is supposed to replenish smooth and soften your skin very small bottle very very small these. Um, so I'm very excited. Anything that moisturizes my face and all of the first aid beauty products have like hardly any smell at all, which is fantastic. Um, and anything that's going to soften my face like a baby butt is a-okay by me. Okay, so now for the last thing, which I'm super so excited about, so excited about, and I'm going to Hopefully love this because if not, well, I spent a hundred dollars on it. So this is the Foreo Luna Mini. This is in the shade Petal Pink or something like that. I don't remember. I liked this one the most, although I'm not a huge fan of pink things. That's okay. Okay, so this is the packaging. I've already taken it out of the packaging just to feel it, but I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't unbox it for you guys. Okay, so it is rechargeable. Now, I've always wanted to try a facial tool cleanser thing, but the Clarisonics freak me out because A, they're brush heads, so they absorb moisture, bacteria, junk like that. That's why you have to constantly replace the, the brushes. Um, but not only that, but like if you don't replace the brushes, your bacteria, your dirt, your stuff that's in your pores is lingering there. I don't care what kind of cleanser you use. It's probably still lingering there. And that does not sound good to me. That does not sound fun. Um, plus, I feel like the brush heads could be pretty abrasive. I may be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Um, but for me, I have very sensitive skin. So the Foreo is made out of silicone. Silicone is a non-porous material, so it doesn't absorb moisture and collect bacteria over time, so it's very hygienic, which Mama appreciates. Um, and it's a lot smaller. Um, it also comes with a two-year warranty, so this is it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's very thin, very small, very, very light, um, and basically it's got these like brush bristles here. It's bad lighting. Um, it's got these brush bristles here and then some on the back, which are a little bit bigger and coarse. Um, and then these ones are a little bit softer and everything. So basically it vibrates and you clean your face with it. And then you just wash it and 
put it on your sink and that's it like super super simple and it's rechargeable and it comes with a two-year warranty and I'm so excited to try this to clean my face and probably get rid of all sorts of gunk that I had in my pores that I never knew about and I'm so excited and it's supposed to what I think is really cool also is because I only have time. I don't even remember to charge my laptop sometimes, like, if I'm being honest. I only have time to charge my cell phone, and that's about it. And this thing can last for... You only have to charge this once every five months. Once every five months. Like, I don't have to think about that. That's amazing. That's so exciting. It's the best news I've ever gotten in my entire life. Once every five months, I don't have to worry about charging this thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, that is the end of my very disgusting, I spent way too much money, Sephora haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and didn't get any slippage here because I'm wearing a very off-the-shoulder top. Thanks for watching. Click the like button if you liked this video, obviously. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's much appreciated. And I will see you guys in my next video, which I promise will not take three weeks this time. I got engaged. It's very exciting. That's, I mean, that's really the only reason I got caught up with life. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.